did you not wait for me? That leaves me with no choice. I, Orlek, Knight of Castelli, will combine forces. Thoughts got the better of me. If I say so myself, people call me Orlek of Castelli. Actually, I came across a little problem. No, no, no. Let me correct myself. Perhaps I should say I came across a little lightning. Lightning? jumped out of my skin! Literally, a bolt out of the blue! It's no challenge to avoid lightning. <laughs> but isn't it only natural to think of a better way to do it? Thunderblade Martel Ironside was the armed guard of this place. Thunderblade? Unbelievable! I believe this is a sign of a warm welcome. <laughs> and it is my duty to return the greeting. Please, go ahead if you're in a rush. What? Hmm. Shall I greet the lightning at full force? Or... <sighs> What a weirdo.
<laughs> a research opportunity. I'll take the lead. it from the beast. The Enchant Scroll. From what I know, the outstanding mages of Veda created it to further reinforce weapons. You can reinforce weapons with this! Visit Peel in the shopping district. Peel? Peel knows everything about the magic of Veda. Many Knights of Veda visited Piel after learning how great he was, and came back with the Enchant Scroll. But they're the master of the book. <laughs> master of the book? No way. Elita was telling the truth. I never imagined I'd meet you in person. I thought you were a legendary figure. And I'm their master. So, pay your respects. As the master of the master, I have something to ask you. A question for me? Of course, Master. Ask away. This is an enchant scroll. At Aria Landing, the capital of the Empire, stands the Tower of Sages. The Tower of Sages? Right. 
It's an organization comprising only the best mages among the Knights of Veda. They study magic and the power of the stars, the core power of Veda. And this scroll holds the power of the stars by the mages. But why is such an amazing item in a beast's body? If a Knight of Veda is holding the scroll and is killed by a beast, the beast absorbs it. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, yeah! We heard you're an expert in enchant scrolls. Of course, huh? you found the right person. But this time, I'm... Select the equipment I gave you. Now that you've selected the equipment, pick an enchant scroll. You'll see enchant scrolls over there. Again, let's use the enchant... Uh, where was it? This scroll will work. Each scroll adds different effects. You'll need gold for that. Sorry to keep you waiting, Master of the Book. Finally... A new effect has been brought. We're done, Master. If you want enchantment, visit me anytime. Come to me anytime for help if you find an enchant scroll. Come <laughs> on. 
Oh. <laughs> Guilty again. I do not usually doze away like this. The sound of cannonballs bring my longing for home, sweet home. My entire life was spent at the battlefield, so the sound of cannonballs is soothing like a warm lullaby. <laughs> cannonballs? Are they not visible? I'm referring to the cannon shot by the undead in front! They shoot them into the middle of the bridge! It is not quite a threat to me. But I reckon there is a better way to dodge them. Hey! That's not fair for us dead to shoot cannonballs! There is a reason it is called the Heavenly Fortress. <laughs> Once again, please get a head start if you are running out of time. What's with that wacko? But it would be best to listen to the undead story. Oh, no. Impossible. After all, they are too worked up.
Yes, the stone statue. An interesting energy runs through. It reminds me of something. But what? I am lost. <laughs> Could you go inspect the ruined statue? Why should we? You might find enlightenment, for example. The hidden truth. <laughs>
Yanko's the best technician in the planet. Ah. We must get ready.
you again. Ah, I'm sure you can also see that huge monster over there. Also, that man in the cage looks troubled, and I have high hopes to save him. What if he's talking with the undead? No one in the cage is crazy enough to talk with the undead. And I realize the fact you are strong. But please refrain from impolite attacks. You're really stupid, aren't you? Hmm. What does the man behind bars want to say to the undead? What a shame the long distance disturbs our hearing. I say, why did you not wait for me? That leaves me with no choice. I, Orlek, Knight of Castelli, will combine forces! Combat skills are just brilliant. But don't just jump in without a thought. You must also be a Knight of Veda. So I assume you have a lifelong mission to complete. But for now, let's have a toast. For your courage, my sword, and may the Earth Bless our victory! <laughs> now, the clock is ticking toward bedtime. Good toast. Always gets me sluggish. What? Is he really asleep? Uh, excuse me. Uh, please help me out. All right, there was someone. Oh, goddess, you're a knight of fetter. Please have mercy on me. Who are you? Why are you locked up here? I'm Thomas the Scribe, working for Martel. Have mercy and get me out of here. Every warrior in the fortress transformed into an undead, so I hid here. What? You locked yourself up? I thought it'd be safe since the cage had sturdy iron bars. But why can't you come out? Oh! You can only open it from outside. This canyon must be cursed with stupidity. Every person we encounter is a fool. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're Martha's scribe? Yes, I am. I have served Lord Martell Ironside for a long time. Then you must know all about Martell. What kind of person is he? He used to be a knight from Castelli. Castelli? Hmm, 
I heard it from somewhere. Oh! That fool over there said he's from Castelli too! But where is he? She was there a moment ago. The Castelli kingdom is at the far west. Even when darkness fell and undead ravaged the continent, the knights of Castelli fought with their swords and shields up high. They were called the Golden Knights because they were in golden armor. How come he became a minion of Magnus? Magnus was once a sage king and liberator of this continent. Every armed knight wanted to ally with Magnus, the successor of the Book of Death. Oh, so Marthel became Magnus's minion back in the good times. They were colleagues. They shared the same goal. Well, that's what a minion is. Minion number one and I share the same goal too. Isn't that true, minion number one? Every warrior in the continent came to fight. But Lord Martell was the best of all. Lord Martell, being instrumental in retrieving Holy City Elsalame. Then, did Martell join Magnus on the journey to the Colonnade of Elsalium? Lord Martell was Magnus's most reliable knight and was referred to as Thunderblade. Magnus's minions followed him dedicating their lives to him. Hmm. But why is he now the head of defensive troops in a frontier area? I'm not sure. There are all kinds of rumours. What rumours? Some say he's cursed by witches. Others say he was ousted to the borders when confronting the king's tyranny. Oh. Anyway, Marthel seems like an admirable person. Great! I'll make minion number one knock him down, and he'll be my minion number two. Such a respectable man, but... Oh. What's with the tears? On the day of the tragedy, he turned into an undead. Marcel also became an undead? No, then he can't be my minion number two. Even as an undead, his mission is to guard the Lightning Canyon. Mission? Even the warrior turned undead still follow Lord Martell. Undead following an undead? So strong influence in one's root is maintained even after being transformed into an undead. But a strong meritorious warrior like Martell turning into an undead means trouble. But no worries, minion number one. The goddess of victory will make sure you win!